Shavua Tov, my dear friends, hello. Good week to all of you. Uh, Chodesh Tov, uh, good first of the month to everyone who's watching this video. In this clip, I want to talk about keto treats. You know, those little special marketed treats for the keto community. The candy bars, the cakes, the pies, the little uh, ready-made mixes. What are my thoughts on them? I think that they can be an excellent tool. I think they can help a person. So if you're the kind of person who has to have that slice of cheesecake, or you have to have that milkshake, or you have to have any one of these treats, like, um, you know, like eggnog, I think that they can be integrated into a keto diet with these tools to help um, with cravings. But treat it as a treat so like if you have a barbecue a family get together or something that you got to go to where you have to bring something that everyone else is going to enjoy as well i think these treats can help you but what you got to ask yourself is is this going to be triggering for me is this going to get me to um start eating like non-stop and then start going to the things that aren't exactly keto friendly you know like with the actual like us uh, processed sugar and things like that. Number one thing, if you slip up, it's okay. Remember, you're human. It's perfectly okay. Continue on like it never happened and forgive yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you cheat. You know, it's like, and just, you know, keep doing what you usually do. Our bodies are very resilient things. I mean, I've had days where I've cheated. You know, I've had like a, a slice of cake or I had a tart, but it was because it was a special occasion. I was with family and friends and I was enjoying myself. But the next day, as soon as I was done, I got right back into my keto diet and continued like nothing happened. So the number one complaint I have with these keto treats is how expensive they are. Keto chow. Sounds excellent. It's like a ready-made mix. You pick the fat of your choice, like butter, olive oil, coconut oil, whatever fat you like. Mix that in with water, and you got yourself your uh, treat. But they are so expensive. I think for like a two-pound bag, I think it's like a 100 bucks or something insane like that. So yeah, a great treat, but I also think that they can be used in a pinch. But for the most part, I like to make all of my keto treats at home as a special treat every now and then. I'm experimenting with a cheesecake milkshake type of a thing. So it's got the cream cheese, the butter, the cinnamon, the uh, little bit of almond uh, flour to mimic a uh, graham cracker. That is delicious right there. But it's a special treat. Something I can look forward to every now and then whenever I have a hankering or my sweet tooth starts gnawing at me. Um, there are so many wonderful keto cooking channels like Serious Keto, Low Carb Love, just to name a few. Any other ones that I can think of or find, I'm going to put in the more description, the more information description section of this video. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys later and have yourselves a great week. Thank you for watching. And please, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Take care.